Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to solve a very interesting problem find next greater element for every element of an array. So let's understand the problem statement first then we will discuss uh, the uh, two approaches. So the problem statement is given an input array find the next greater element for every element of an array and the next greater element is the first greater element on the right side of x in an array. If no next greater element is found then print null or minus one so let's understand this problem statement through example so suppose i have an array and this is my array in which following elements and are present so let's start with the first element so the next greater element of four is six so six is the first element which is present on the right side of four so six is uh, six uh, next greater element of 4 is 6 similarly for next greater element of 2 is 6 now we move to third element and the next greater element of 6 is 8 so this is the first element first greatest element present uh, first greater element present on the right side of 6 similarly for 8 if we see only two element is left and neither of them is greater than 8 so uh, no greater element is present on the right side of 8 so we print null similarly for 1 there is no greater element on the right side of an M array and say similarly for 0 so we have uh, the following arrow output for 4 6 is the next greater element for 2 6 is the next greater element for 6 8 is the next greater element for 8 so there is no greater element present on the right side of 8 so it's null similarly for 1 and 0 so this is our problem statement and now uh, let's discuss the first approach and the first approach is using two for loops so let me explain through example and let me draw the array so this is our array and in <clears throat> So this is my array and following elements are present 4, then 2, then 6, then 8 and after that <clears throat> there is 1 and there is 0. So using two for loop, the outer loop, this is my outer loop, this is inner loop. So in outer loop what we do is we pick each element so suppose we first pick 4 and what inner loop does is it check each element from this position so if i is 0 then j is i plus 1 so it start from uh, first index so it checks the first greater element present in the on in the right side of the array so inner loop when we so we from outer loop we picked 4 and inner loop check is 2 is greater than 4 no is 6 is greater than 4 yes we found the first greater element let's break the loop so this is what this logic is uh, does so it start from i plus 1 and when uh, when the first greater element is found we break the loop and similarly when i points to 2 then j uh, this will start from i plus 1 similarly when i points to 6 j will start from this plus 1 so in this approach we found the next greater element but the time complexity of this approach is o n square so which is not good so can we do a uh, better than this approach yes of course we can do much better than uh, this approach so we can solve this problem using stack so as you know stack is last and first out data structure the element which push at last in the stack is the first element to be popped out so in a stack what we do is initially when we create a stack it's empty so we push the first element in a stack so first element of an array in a stack then what we do is for next element we compare uh, we compare the next element of an array 
to the element present at the top of our stack and if the next element is greater than the element present at the top of the stack then we found the next greater element of uh, of that value which is present in our stack so we pop the element and print the next greater element and then we push uh, the current value in a stack we repeat this step until the array is traversed completely uh, completely and the time complexity of this approach is o n as we are traversing array once so let me explain this approach and so so let me draw the array and the element present in this array is 4 2 6 8 1 and 0 let's draw the stack as well so the first so I have created a stack and a stack is empty so the first element of an array is 4 so let me push this in a stack now the top points to uh, top of uh, top of a stack points to this one now the next element of an array is 2 so is 2 is greater than 4 no so simply push them in a stack now the top points here so let me cut this and the top points here the next element of an array is 6 so remember this step if element is greater than the element present at the top of a stack so 6 is greater than the element present at the top of a stack so we need to pop 2 and print the next greater element of 2 so the next greater element of 2 is 6 similarly 6 is greater than 4 we also need to pop 4 as well so the next greater element of 4 is 6 and after that we can simply push 6 in a stack so let me pop 2 4 and let's remove this as well and now we can push 6 in a stack so now top points here the next element is 8 so 8 is greater than 6 so we need to pop 6 from a stack and we found the next greater element of 6 which is 8 so now let me pop 6 from a stack and push 8 in a stack the next element of an array is 1 so 1 is not greater than 8 so simply push them in a stack now the top points here and the next greater, uh, next element of an array is 0 so 0 is not greater than 1 so simply push them in a stack and now the top points here so now the uh, we have traversed the array and a stack is not empty and uh, so uh, there is no greater element for all this element which is present in a stack so simply uh, pop all the element of a stack and print minus 1 or null it indicates uh, there is no greater element found for these elements so 1 we have found minus 1 and 8 there is no greater element so print either minus 1 or null and after that we can pop this element from a stack so in this way uh, we can solve this problem in O and time complexity. Now uh, let's see the Java code. And so uh, this is the implementation of a stack uh, approach. So this is my main method, and uh, these are my array elements. I am calling this function next greater element, and here I have declared a stack, a stack of integers. And then I am traversing an array from 0 to uh, n minus 1. And initially, when the stack is empty, we push first element of an array in a stack. So we pushed it. Else, what we do is we are checking if a stack is not empty and the array element is greater than the stack top value. 
if it is then we pop the element and we are printing here the next greater element of element and after that we push the carry element in a stack so we are we are repeating this step until the array is traversed completely and after that if a stack is not empty so we print uh, the we print the next greater element for uh, the next greater element i mean we are printing the uh, next greater element for all the remaining element uh, remaining values is null as a new next greater element is found for all these elements so this is a very simple approach to solve this problem in minimum time complexity and i'll put the code link uh, in the description box so please make sure you check the description box and for more such programming uh, tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel or you can visit our website which is uh, webrewrite.com https colon slash slash webrewrite.com please share this video tutorial with your friends with your colleagues and thanks for watching this video tutorial